Hey everybody, so I want to do a opening of this HelloFresh box. I have already cut the tape on it. Um, we got HelloFresh and we got Blue Apron for a really cheap discount through Groupon. So we thought we'd try them out and video the cooking of the recipes and share our thoughts and experiences. So I'm going to open this one. Kristen's already opened Blue Apron. Um, and I think one of our zucchinis was broken. It was just kind of piled in the box. So I gotta get all of them and see if they can do something about that. But we're gonna open up the HelloFresh, so. Okay, so that's one of our meals. The other is crispy barbecue chicken tenders and then roasted pork tenderloin. So this is this is grouped in meals. The way Kristen was saying blue apron was just piled in there, so So that's all the ingredients it looks like for one meal. There's barbecue sauce, a sweet potato, some breadcrumbs, some sweet peas, some more sweet potatoes. So it looks like this is all the ingredients to one meal except for the meat. I believe the meat's on the bottom because the bottom of this box was cold. So let's get this out of the way. So these are still good and frozen. Interesting little weird thing. I thought our AC had went out again this morning. So I went out to look at the box and this was, the box was sitting in front of our AC and apparently it spent the night there, which means they delivered it and didn't put it on the porch or knock or anything like that because Kristen and the kids were home all day yesterday. So I've got to give them a call and see. But I mean, it's so cold, so it looks like the ingredients and stuff are still good, but I may have them replace it just to be safe, so. You see how wet this is? It's, all right, so this is boneless pork tenderloin. There's two of those, and we got three meals for four people. So, and then this is for the beef stir fry. And then chicken dinners for the chicken dinners. So. There it is, that's the meat. Those are the ingredients right there. So I'm gonna go and get this stuff put away, but I just thought you'd like to see the inside of it. When we get through it and we cook some of the food and stuff, I'll record us cooking it. So I anyway, just thought I'd show you this. I didn't get the blue air because I wasn't here when it got open and it's supposed to go in the fridge immediately, so. But that's some of the dry ingredients there. Um, all the rest of the ingredients are in the fridge, so but like I said one of the zucchinis came broken And it was just because she that was kind of like a disheveled mess. So this box is pretty nice. This is like Some kind of insulation I might actually hold on to that and then of course the ice packs. So I want to go and show you the, the Recipe cards for the HelloFresh box. So that's this one Honey hose and beef I'm happy about this one because it's, it calls for um, bok choy, which I've never had and I've always wanted to try. I mean, they yeah, have it at Winn-Dixie, but I've never cooked it, so I'm not sure how to. So I'm kind of excited. The next one is uh, roasted pork tenderloin. It tells you what the ingredients in your box should be. And then a step-by-step -step for the recipe. And then the last thing we got was crispy, um, barbecue chicken tenders uh, with sweet potato and sugar snap peas. Um, this is pretty simple to make. I don't even know if I'll need the recipe card, but those are all the ingredients and then the, uh, the recipe itself. It's pretty neat. I like these. These cards are pretty nice. They're pretty sturdy. Uh, this is the one from Blue Apron. So, uh, looks like it comes with 
uh, making or for growing pea shoots. It's called Kids Cooking Camp. That's pretty cool. Oh, some regular flowers. So these are their um, their recipe cards. So one of the ones we got was the summer squash paninis. Um, this looked good. I thought it would be good to try. The ingredients are there. Uh, let's see. That kind of gives you an overview of the recipe and how long. And then that's got your recipe. And then the other one we got was white cheddar pork burgers. The ingredients, the list, and then the recipe itself. So both cards are kind of cool. Um, I think I like the layout of HelloFresh's cards a little bit more. I just I like the big pictures on the front. And they're colorful. I'm sure ours won't look anything like that, but you know we'll get close. But um, anyways, just thought I'd show those to you on the the tractor. Um, hopefully I got some footage. I put the that DB power camera. Uh, it's mounted right there. So I'll start that once I get going a little bit and hopefully it doesn't fall off. It's got like a sticky base so it doesn't seem like it's going to come off um, but I'll record some video. I was going to do like a time lapse but it only time lapses for like 10 sequences that I can tell so far. I might have to do a little bit more research in it but anyways we're going to go and get started so let's crank her up. Our peaceful inner monologue has been cut short. I did get a good portion of near my house um, knocked over with the tractor. Unfortunately, I didn't get it finished, and I still technically need to mow actually around the house with the regular lawn mower because this bush hog won't cut low enough, uh, or the tractor, anyways. So I got about 75% done of what I wanted to do today. I still have a whole nother field, probably another four or five acres that needs to be done I think I might be allergic to pine because everywhere pine straw has touched me because we have pine trees I'm itching like a madman it's driving me nuts smacking me with my tattoo a couple times and I've done everything I can not to scratch it so I uh I got the little GoPro knockoff it ran uh, for most of the time, I don't think I'm going to edit any of the footage out. I know I knocked the camera a few times and so it bounced straight up in the air. Um, and it ran like that for a few minutes until I noticed. But a lot of the it is like I stopped and knocked, cut down some tree limbs so they weren't in the way. Uh, but like I said, I got, I got a good portion of what I wanted to do today done except for my own, like the actual yard. Uh, but it's going to rain. It's actually thundering and lightning. So So I adjusted the aperture on the camera. That's what it looks like here. So, and I saw some thunder and lightning over there and it actually started to rain. That's why I actually came in. Otherwise I'd still be going. I don't really care about the thunder and lightning. It's far enough off. I just don't want all my, I don't want my phone and stuff to get wet because I am using that to listen to music. But that's what's above us. You can see that tree right there. The wind's kind of whipping it around. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna head on in, I guess, until it either stops raining or, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, hugged you a little bit. So you can see right there where I mowed, and I got some of up in here. I don't know if I showed you before, but it was right here is where the septic tank and the drainage from the uh, washing machine and stuff all flow out in there. So up to right there through the middle, this little piece right here, it was like chest high even sitting on the tractor so I got all that knocked down um, that's it I got to run this to the dump uh, next week because I pulled the drum and stuff out but that's about it so we're playing ticket to ride so cards everywhere basically you're trying to build trains and connect cities if you have the most the longest train you get more points the most trains you get the extra points and then you have these cards here that tell you to like connect uh, Portland to Miami and things like that so that's where we're at with my trains. Allie has spelled her her name with her trains over here 
That's a long way from my mm. Come back when we're a little bit more full on the board. This is where we're at. I'm black trains, Jordan's blue trains, Kristen's yellow, Allie's red. Four. Jordan has got this ultimate plan to get to Miami over there, so he's holding half the deck in his hands. <laughs> you can't get crap. And we're all running out of trains. That's um, me. I've got three trains left. Oh no, I've only got three trains there's, left. There's more in here. Uh, more. No, when you run out, that's the end of the game. There's extra in case you are oh. trying to get somewhere. Oh, I want you to run out, you run out. Okay. Anyway, so that's where we're at so far. We haven't been paying attention to counting points. We'll have to go back and do that when it's over with. But that's where we're at so far. Those trains on the board. That's These not the board. things. Oh, oh Dad got All right. excited about that. So, here it is. In last fourth place, there's Jordan with 81 points. Uh, Kristen with 114. Allie with 115. And I'm over there with 155. Uh, mostly one on the ports and st or connecting cities. But Allie had the longest train. Her train goes from Seattle, no, from Portland, all the way around here, around there, down to Miami. She had 36 train cars. <laughs> she missed one. So I had the highest points. Allie had the longest train. So that's uh, Ticket to Ride. It's a pretty fun game. It's got a little bit of strategy involved. But other than that, so like I said, it's a pretty fun game. Well, game's over. <clears throat> the game's over, so kids are watching TV. I'm going to finish doing a couple projects and then probably go to bed soon because I'm probably getting up early in the morning. I haven't decided yet. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, that's, uh, that's it for now. Till tomorrow.